Welcome to the Flying Chase Channel. Today we're going to start a new series, Learning with Toys. Rex not only has robots, it also has a lot of toys, and some of them are underestimated. This is the award-winning robot arm. We built this two years ago, and to be honest, it's not that impress impressive. But here we have its big brother, the red giant, the motorized robotic arm. <laughs> This guy has four motors. One, two, three, four. And the motors can go forward and backwards, left and right. Oh, open the claw and close the claw, and up and down. Let's see that again. Forward and backwards, left and right. Open and closing the claw, and going up and down. What can we learn from this toy? Well, first, we have this little guy, the bevel gear. These are the bevel gears. They are two gears connected at a 90 degree angle. Normally, when we use the motor, we just stick the rod in, and when the motor spins, the rod will spin too. But later, you might find out that the robot is oversized. What the bevel gear allows you to do is put the motor sideways like this, and you can save up to an inch of space. For example, on our current robot, a motor is sticking out, and you might worry that it's too wide and it's going to be illegal. But if we use the bevel gear, it's going to be half the width. The, th the second thing we can learn about is the worm gear. As you can see, the worm gear is in the claw, and it's in between two other gears. This guy also has a claw, but this claw is using two regular gears. But this big guy is using the worm gear. Well, you might be asking, what's the difference? Let me ask you a question first. You know that this gear has 60 teeth. Now let me ask you. How many, gear, how many teeth does the worm gear have? Now this is tricky, but the answer is actually one tooth. So when we rotate this one time, the gear only spins, only rotates one tooth. So it's gonna create a super gear ratio, which means super powerful. As you can see, this claw is fast. Let's see, the Red Giant's Claw. Wow, it's slow. But now, let's see the power. This is our test subject, Naruto's Wallet. You all know him. Inside of him is 40 quarters. It's pretty heavy. Let's see if these two claws can both carry Naruto's wallet. Am I still on camera? First, it's the regular gear claw. Mission failed. It's not powerful. And now it's the big red claw. I think that holds. We don't just want to learn, we also want to have some fun. I remember at David Buster's, the claw machine for so hard, but I always wanted to get a prize. But my dad always said, it's they keep on cheating. So, when I first built this robot, I was, I thought, what if we had our own claw machine? Well, we do. Well, the first step of the claw machine, insert a quarter. Ugh. All right, so you get 20 seconds. 
Wait, I probably shouldn't be talking. Okay. That's one toy. Next toy. And that's another one. The red giant is great, but if there was a downside, I'd say that the supporters are very weak. So I'd change the 1x1 one one pins with 2x0 pins. Please like and subscribe. We will have more Learn with the Toys videos coming up very soon.